Hello there, fellow pipe smokers. Marcus here, Pipers and Guns. And today it's time to review a tobacco, and it will be none other than Erdik Nording's Hunter Blend Foxhound. So, Erdik Nording's Foxhound Blend will be the one. This tin I got from Andrew, uh, aka Bluefin Piper. And it's, uh, for those who do not know, uh, the Eric Nording series is produced by McLellan. <clears throat> so it will be pretty hard to get in the future, or already maybe. Uh, I don't really know, but I think it's hard to get. <clears throat> it's an English blend uh, with uh, Orientals. I will write from the tin description here. The finest uh, Cyprian, Larakia and Orientals from Macedonia and Turkey give this mild English style blend its smoothest and seductive aroma. So just from that text, it yeah, for my taste buds, it sounds like it's gonna be a perfect match. So I haven't opened this tin yet. Uh, it's from 2017. Uh, do we have anything more here? No, I don't think so. I did bring two pipes uh, because I didn't know, you know, how the tin note was and what pipe I might use to smoke it with. I have my OMS KT, uh, KT209, uh, which I have smoked some, or not a lot, but maybe 10 bowls of uh, the Balkan Sen. Sesame, and uh, you know, depending on how this one smells, might be the best match when it comes to my English blend pipes. So, anyways, I also brought my small little uh, old Peterson, uh, the 211 Caproof, uh, which I mostly smoked uh, Seattle Pipe Club plum pudding in a uh, special reserve mostly. So, so I Let's see the content of Larakia in it will uh, will uh, be the decision maker to what pipe to smoke this in. But let's go for this. No further ado. Let's open this tin of uh, Eric Nording's Foxhound. Pretty cold day today, actually. So that's why I'm opted to be in the in the shed. I will pimp this shed out because I think this will be my pipe studio for the winter. It's just too damn cold to be on the balcony. Maybe a fine really nice sunny winter day I'll uh, make some videos there you know on the balcony but it will be in the middle of the day when it still is somewhat of some sunshine or light outside. Let's open it. Oh big bang. I don't want to spill anything here. Mm. Oh, just opening this tin, it reminds me so much of the uh, Frog Morton series tobacco, like on the bayou, on the town, and somewhat of uh, uh, Frog in the cellar. Not overly Larakia-ish, uh, but it sure has that Stowe Virginias and those Orientals in it. It's, you know, it's a mix with really dark leaves. Sorry, I need to get some notifications here. I don't know if you can see this, but maybe I should. Listen up this one. There you go nice view of the tobacco oh. oh my my camera holder messed up again sorry guys i need to pause it and uh, start over so i'm back my mobile phone holder that's made for a car like dashboard uh the squeezy thing that you know 
holds the phone in place because it's like for multiple vendors and size of phones it messes up so anyways it's fixed right now so let's uh, keep at it the tin note as I said <clears throat> not overly uh, Laraquiege or forward I smell those stove Virginias that uh, Orientals as I'm used to from the Frog Morton series uh, it smells really good it smells like that topping you know almost like Frog Morton's in the cellar uh, that little whiskey bourbon kind of smell to it and I think this is safely I could safely you know load this one up in my uh, Frog Morton uh, style yet again I got abrupted by my son so yeah I could safely load this this uh, pipe tobacco in in my uh, Frog Morton pipe because I have one pipe that's just dedicated to the Frog Mortons which are a bit similar but it would work perfectly in the OMS uh, so I will uh, load a pipe up here uh, gently gently I think that sometimes yes putting some back in your palm and then uh, twist and turn your your pipe so you work the tobacco into the pipe works the best depends on the cut of course so these are you know we know what do you call it like short ribbons like pretty roughly or cube cuts it looks like any other mclellan or as i know anyways the frog morton series you know the way how the tobacco is cut so let's stock this one up uh, moisture wise goldilocks as uh, stuff and things would say uh, straight out of the tin doesn't need to be dried out or it's not overly dried straight out of you know just the first first light I will enjoy this backhoe for sure I know Andrew said this is one of his favorite English light English blends fully agree this is a really nice smooth smoke and I haven't even heated up the pipe yet it's just like the frog mortons super smooth all the different components just comes together perfectly nothing that really sticks out the Larakia do, does not you know get too overly you know mm, what I would call it but overpowering uh, I get more Orientals in this than Larakia of course you have that smokiness but I get more of that Larakia and that stove Virginia's I wouldn't be surprised if this Foxhound tobacco is like a straight nothing changed from like a frog morton type blend just a different label i don't know you know maybe it's a bit more orientals 
in this no idea but it's it's very 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 close to on the town and on the bayou and i love those those blends because they are so smooth so easily smoked and just a just a joy to uh, you know smoke I'll uh, pause the video for now and come back further down the bowl and see if I have any any more thoughts of uh, of my first impressions. So, see you in a bit. Guess who's back? It's me. Who else? <laughs> Been puffing on this now for ten more minutes, and I still love it. The Latakia comes forward a bit more, but it's still super, super mild. Uh, the Balkans is still, uh, or the Orientals are, is still the, the mo most, you know, forwarded uh, tobacco in this one. And it's a joy to smoke. And I wouldn't hesitate buying more tins if I would fi find any. Even if I didn't buy this, I got this as a gift. So, if you love Balkan blends or just Frog Morton series blends, check this one out. That's all for now, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.